Hi everybody, Sarah here at the Big Blue House Homestead. I'm in the kitchen, I've been working in the garden today, but I've got to start getting some pressure canning done. So this isn't about pressure canning, I'm just doing stock. I did a bunch of bone broth the other day, and I just want to show you a couple tips and tricks. Whenever you do broth, you want to cool it down completely, 100%. Get it very nice and cold, and what you're going to do is have a film on the top of your fats, and you need to remove that 100%. So let me show you what I'm talking about. Okay. All that's got to go. That's all just straight fat. Uh, you don't want that in your goods when you're canning. And so usually it will gel underneath and you can just skim it all off the top and just remove it. And that way you don't have all that fat in your broth. Um, I'm gonna get this all cleaned and then I'll show you the next part. Okay, just to clear this up, if you make bone broth, remove all of your bones and strain your broth first. And that way what you have is just pure broth with the fat on top. Now see, I didn't get all of it off. It's kind of sometimes almost impossible, but get off as much as you can. You want to remove it because it will go rancid and it'll make your broth taste bad. But at this point, I'm reheating my entire pot up because we are going to have some fun with some ice cube trays. Okay, it's a tool not many people talk about, but I think ice cube trays are probably number one in my kitchen. Um, I use them all the time. I use them for stocks. I use them for broths. I use them to freeze juices, all sorts of things. These come in very handy, and I just pick mine up to pack at the dollar store. So you could get yourself 50 of them if that's what you wanted. I mean, if you have the room, put them in your freezer. But what I do is I warm my broth up, and then I fill my ice cube trays, and I lay them into my freezer. And when they ice over and they're completely frozen, I then remove them and put them into a bag. And I can show you with the pineapple that I've already done, but I don't want to wait all day for the broth. And because I'm canning, it's going to be a quick process. And you guys know how to freeze ice cubes. I mean, it's, that's an easy thing to do. You put it in your freezer. So let me show you what it looks like in a bag with the pineapple cubes that I do. And I'll show you how that's done. Okay, now these melted a little bit when I cleaned my freezers out the other day. So they were a little stuck together. And there's some that, you know, mushed out in the bottom. But you can see nice big cubes. Um, if you do this with stock, holy cow, it is so good. This is pineapple juice, and we use these in our water. I just use the cores when I pineapple, you know, you process pineapples. I take all the cores, and I boil them down for a while and get straight, beautiful pineapple juice. And we add that to water, and then that way in the fall or winter or even in the summer when it's hot, because this was one of three bags I made, and it's almost done. But we put them in there, and it flavors our water and gives us natural sweeteners. But if you do this with broth, wow, throw in a pan, one ice cube or two, depending on what you're cooking, saute your vegetables in it. Uh, it's a lot easier than opening in a jar or a carton or a, you know, container, whatever you keep your stocks in or buy your stocks in. It's a lot easier just to throw in a couple ice cubes and let them melt down and then saute your vegetables into that. Seriously, it makes the flavors on your veggies so much better. They're easy to store. I mean, this is just one Ziploc bag. And if I do a quick count on here, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 21. There's 21 in here, which means if I doubled that, that was 42. So you can fit about 50 cubes in a bag. And that's a lot of flavoring to add to your food throughout the season. So, and like I said, I do it with juices and I do it with stocks. And just make sure you label your bags. Mine says pineapple because my stock's going to look like that too. And I don't want pineapple flavored green beans or, you know, rice or what. No, I, don't. I want pineapple in my waters and I want stock in my food. But it makes a big difference, especially if you don't know how to can or you don't know how to preserve. And I'm not going to walk you through every single step because, like I said, it's a very simple thing. All I'm doing is rewarming my broth up. I'll pour the broth into these and let them sit till they cool down some. I don't ever want to put hot product in my freezer. So then I let them cool down. I make sure I have a nice space in my freezer, laid out boxes or an empty shelf, whatever. And I just lay the two trays in there um, and let them freeze. And then once they're frozen, I just pop them like normal and take all those little cubes out, throw them into my bag and stick them back in the freezer. And then I have stock whenever I need it. Now I am canning a bunch and I think this is a great way to use up when you're canning broth. You always end up with like a little bit extra that you just can't put into a big jar and not really needed a pint jar size. You want, you know, a big quart. So a lot of times you have extra broth and it's just real easy to throw that into ice cube trays 
And then when you need just a touch of broth here and there, you have an ice cube for it. So I just wanted to share that. It's something I've been doing for years. I don't think I got the idea from anybody. I think it was just as I was doing things. I used to do soup in there for my kids when they were babies or baby food as well. Yeah, because I made all my homemade baby food. I would put baby food into all of these and store them in the freezer. So when I needed to feed my kids, I could just put it in a pan and heat it up and then cool it down and then feed them fresh baby foods. But I think because I've used ice cube trays so long in my life and I found them so useful and so beneficial, I've just adapted to everything that I've done, especially in my kitchen and the cooking world. Uh, like I said, juices, I've done tomato juice, I've done stocks, I've done fruit juices, I have done soups, I have done all sorts of things. And it's really good too, you can make flavored butters. So if you have a lot of herbs in your garden and you want to make like a really good basil butter to put into a pasta or you want to do like a rosemary thyme mixture to put onto a roast chicken things like that yeah you can put melted butter in these and they'll refreeze and then with them they don't pop out as easy so you might have to dunk them in some hot water but then you can have flavored butters for whatever you need those for and you can use those in your vegetables as well so if you got really creative think about it and you did a tray of stock and a tray of butter well, there you go. All the flavors you need into one pan. And you can do the same thing when you're cooking meats and stuff. I've done it with all sorts of broths. I think I have two bags in the freezer that have um, ham stock in them because I use ham stock a lot. When you make a lot of broths because you save all your bones and you want to utilize everything from your kitchen, you end up with all sorts of things. So I've got a lot of ham stock and I'll use that in barbecue sauces, rices, in beans, in you know anything that I cook. I'll just throw in a couple cubes. So, just wanted to share. Like I said, I think it was pretty cool. One of those things that not a lot of people do. So, enjoy yourselves with your ice cube trays. And I hope you guys find lots of good adventures with them. Because I'm telling you. It comes in very, very handy. And like I said, you just need to pull a bag. Grab a couple cubes. They're all separated. Throw them into whatever you're cooking. And there you go. Thank you guys for stopping by. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Give me a like and leave a comment. And I'll answer when I can. But I appreciate you guys stopping by again, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.